this video reflects information and data regarding COVID-19 as of February 2021. Please keep in mind that information regarding COVID-19 is subject to change as research progresses. The COVID-19 pandemic is hitting us hard and is obviously very scary. With many yet to receive a vaccine, people have turned to all sorts of preventative measures. One of the latest trends suggests orally ingesting zinc as a preventative measure against COVID-19. Ever wondered if this is true? In this video, we'll take a look. Zinc is an essential mineral that is naturally present in some foods, added to others, and available as a dietary supplement, such as a lozenge or a tablet. Low zinc status has been correlated with an increased susceptibility to infection, especially in developing countries. Zinc supplementation can reverse these adverse effects. This is likely because zinc has a role in our immune system. Our immune system is responsible for our ability to fight off disease. Zinc deficiency depresses the immune system's functions. Zinc deficiency can impair white blood cells such as macrophages and neutrophils that are key players in our immune response. Not having enough white blood cells for your immune system is kind of like not having a quarterback on a football team. Without a quarterback, your team's chances of winning become slim. Similarly, without enough white blood cells like macrophages and neutrophils, your body will struggle to prevent disease. So you can see how zinc deficiency may impact our ability to fight disease. Zinc may be able to protect against COVID-19 entering the body. COVID-19 and most other viruses are able to attack your body by accessing receptors on host cells. The virus and virus receptor are able to fit together like puzzle pieces. For COVID-19, it binds to a receptor called enzyme angiotensin converting enzyme 2 otherwise known as ACE2. This receptor is abundantly found in the respiratory tract, including your nose, throat, and lungs. However, in these spaces, your body naturally has a tissue barrier where your mucus and other antimicrobial particles can act as a shield against the attachment of the virus at these ACE2 receptor sites. Zinc can help preserve this tissue barrier by promoting the clearance of cilia that may have attached viruses in a process called mucociliary clearance. Cilia are small hair-like structures that attach to viruses and bacteria to prevent them from entering our system. It is also suggested that zinc directly inhibits viral replication. As mentioned previously, the COVID-19 virus binds directly to the ACE2 receptor to access a host cell. Zinc may decrease the activity of this receptor. This is done through zinc regulating the gene expression of the ACE2, ultimately meaning that the production of the receptor itself is decreased as a result of zinc interaction. If the activity of the receptor is decreased, there is less of an opportunity for the virus to bind and attack host cells. It is important to note that these mechanisms are based on the properties of zinc and are currently educated theories as scientists have yet to observe zinc's action on COVID-19. However, there are some promising results thus far. One study reported that four patients, all treated with high-dose oral zinc salts, experienced significant improvement after one day of taking the medication, suggesting that zinc therapy was playing a role in recovery. In another study consisting of 92 patients, zinc-deficient patients developed more complications where 70% of the patients with deficiencies had more severe complications compared to the other 30% without deficiencies. The study showed that in general, patients with COVID-19 had significantly lower levels of zinc in comparison to average healthy individuals. As of August 28, 2020, there are at least 12 ongoing or proposed clinical trials in the United States for COVID-19 that involve zinc as either a preventative or combination therapy. It seems that zinc very likely plays a role in preventing and treating COVID-19. So the question remains, should you take zinc supplements? We've given you the facts, but the rest is up to your needs. The average adult requires 8 to 11 milligrams of zinc per day to meet your nutrient requirements and keep yourself healthy. Likely, you are getting enough zinc through your diet, through foods such as chicken, red meat, beans, nuts, seafoods, whole grains, and even cereal. If you are worried, you can increase your consumption of zinc-rich foods or invest in zinc supplements. Evidence does show that zinc may provide some benefits when it comes to COVID-19. 
However, adverse effects of high zinc intake include nausea, vomiting, loss of appetite, abdominal cramps, diarrhea, and headaches. Zinc may also have the potential to interact with medication. Always speak with your doctor to figure out what's best for you and if it would be beneficial for you to supplement zinc. Thank you for watching. If you would like further information or clarification on zinc and COVID-19, our references for further reading are posted in the description. As mentioned at the beginning of the video, the contents of this video are relevant as of February 2021.